फ्रेंड्स गैलेक्सी एस ट्वेंटी वन अल्ट्रा फाइव जी रन ऑन एंड्रॉइड इलेवन वन यू आई थ्री पॉइंट वन एंड पावर्ड बाय एक्सिनोस ट्वेंटी वन हंड्रेड प्रोसेसर विद ऑक्टा कोर टू पॉइंट नाइन की गर्ट्स विद जी पी यू माली जी सेवन एट एम पी फोर्टीन वेयर इज शोमी रेडमी नोट नाइन प्रो मैक्स कम्स विद एंड्रॉइड टेन मी यू आई इलेवन एंड पावर्ड बाई कॉल कैम स्टेप डेगन सेवन ट्वेंटी जी प्रोसेसर विद टू पॉइंट थ्री की गर्ट्स ऑक्टा कोर विद जी पी यू एडीनो सिक्स वन एट If you see the display of this device, you can find 6.8 inches screen size with dynamic AMOLED 2x display that comes with a resolution of 3200 by 1440 pixels with 515 ppi density and also comes with front and back Gorilla Glass Victus screen protection with aluminium frame. Whereas Redmi Note 9 Pro Max is 6.67 inches screen size with IPS LCD display that comes with a resolution of 2400 by 1080 pixels with a 395 ppi pixels density and also comes with Corning Gorilla Glass 5 screen protection. Talking about the internal memory, then Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra 5G is available in different variants: 128 or 256 GB with 12 GB RAM. while 512 gb with 16 gb ram but there is no micro sd support friends as far as concerned about the colors for this device then it is produced in phantom black phantom silver phantom titanium phantom navy and phantom brown colors moving on to redmi note 9 pro max it is available in different variants of primary storages that is 64 and 128 gb rom with 6 gb ram and the other combination is 128 gb rom with 8 gb ram and also supports dedicated micro sd xc slot friends as far as concerned about the colors for this device then it is produced in aurora blue glacier white and interstellar black colors Friends, Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra 5G comes in dimension of 165.1 by 75.6 by 8.9 mm and weighs 227 grams. This device supports dual nano SIM also. Whereas Redmi Note 9 Pro Max measures 165.5 by 76.7 by 8.8 mm of height, width, thickness, and 209 grams of weight with dual nano SIM option. About the rear camera setup. Then Galaxy S21 Ultra 5G consists of quad 108 plus 10 plus 10 plus 12 megapixels with 1.8, 4.9, 2.4 and 2.2 aperture with wide angle periscope, telephoto, ultra wide, PGAF, laser, autofocus, optical image stabilization, 10x optical zoom and 3x optical zoom with LED flash, auto HDR and panorama mode. It shoots out videos up to 8K at 24 frames per seconds with HDR10+, stereo sound recording and gyro EIS. Friends, if you are a selfie lover, then a great 40 megapixels front camera with 2.2 aperture with wide angle secondary camera with PDAF is also available that can record videos up to 4K at 30 or 60 frames per seconds. Moving on to primary camera of Redmi Note 9 Pro Max, it comes with quad 64 plus 8 plus 5 plus 2 megapixels as primary camera setups with wide, ultra wide, macro lens and depth sensors with PDAF. It shoots out videos up to 2160p at 30 frames per second and also equipped with 32 megapixels wide angle lens secondary camera that can shoot the videos up to 1080p recording at 30 frames per second. Friends, Galaxy S21 Ultra 5G is integrated with under display and ultrasonic fingerprint sensor with some more sensors like proximity, gyroscope, accelerometer, barometer and compass. On the connectivity side, this phone comes with Wi-Fi, dual band Wi-Fi direct hotspot, bluetooth, NFC, GPS, USB type C 3.2 USB on the go fast charging with 25 watts reverse wireless charging 4.5 watts but there is no headphone jack available in this device this phone is powered by non removable 5000 mAh battery as well whereas in Redmi Note 9 Pro Max you can find side mounted fingerprint sensor with some more sensors like gyroscope compass accelerometer and proximity sensors This phone comes with Wi-Fi, dual band, Wi-Fi direct, hotspot, Bluetooth, GPS, infrared, 
infrared port fm radio with the recording type c reversible connector and fast battery charging with 33 watts that can charge the device 50% in 30 minutes this phone is powered by non removable 5020 mah battery as well so that was the quick comparison of both the smartphones you can also check further details in the description below what do you think about these smartphones do let us know in the comments section below i hope you liked this video and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe the channel thanks for watching